We do have time for one more quick question in this segment, and it comes down to raising a child. It comes with a thousand, am I doing this right questions, just like this one from Riley. Hi, this is my son, Lucas. He's three months old. We started to notice that he didn't love tummy time, and now his head is getting flat. Is there any tips you have on how to reverse it? Pediatric occupational therapist Lisa Lewis joins us in the audience. Thank you for being with us. Of course. Awesome. Thank you. So Riley obviously has a specific question regarding her baby, but a lot of parents out there have similar. What, what can Riley do? Absolutely. Well, the first thing I would say is that this is very common and very treatable. So uh, plagiocephaly or flathead syndrome is prevalent right now in about 47% of the infant population. And we've seen a large increase in it since the back to sleep movement in the 90s. And what that means is in a reduction of SIDS, put your child on their back to sleep to avoid suffocation and entrapment with other things in the crib. So one of the things that can be done is to increase your tummy time, have them off of their back as much as possible when they're awake. The American Association of Pediatrics actually has their saying of back to sleep, tummy to, to play. So when they're awake, they should be off of their backs and on their tummy and doing tummy time and exploring everything to get the pressure off of the back of the head because we see plagiocephaly really happening due to the excess external pressure because our baby's infant, our baby's skulls are so soft. But what, so what? Lisa, as a parent, I know that, so there's a lot of pressure in terms of the back to sleep. Yes. But there are also all these devices like beanies and pillows and all these kind of items on the market that supposedly help address this. What are right. your thoughts on that? Well, again, American Academy of Pediatrics does not want anything in the crib, period, um, because you want to avoid the suffocation. And as far as these pillows and these devices, I would recommend spending your money elsewhere okay. because repositioning is really the number one treatment and then tummy time and if things get to an, a more extreme case, then you go see an orthotist for it. So if playtime is tummy time, but you have a baby who doesn't love the tummy time, what do you do? What are some tips? My first tip is get down on the floor with them. They are just communicating with you if they're making noises. Unless they're hysterically crying, they're just telling you that it's hard for them. They don't like it. It's a different position. They're having to use all of these muscles that they're not using when they're on their back. And Tummy time doesn't only have to be done on the floor. You can do tummy time when you're doing skin to skin, and you can be lying down and have your infant on your chest, and you can do tummy time with your hands when you're holding your infant. You can hold them in kind of what I call a football hold, so they're on their stomach, and they're still in that position because they still have to use those neck muscles to move around, and it's still against gravity, which is what we're looking for. And Lisa, at what age should, if this is getting worse or it's not improving, at what age should you see an occupational therapist? So I would recommend first speaking with your pediatrician because that's always the first line of defense. And then at a, if definitely by four months, if repositioning has not shown a good increase, I would go to a physical therapist or an occupational therapist. Sometimes plagiocephaly can be related with torticollis, which is due to a shortening of the neck muscle and you see the child has a preference to one side, which is why you see the flatness on one side of their head versus the other. A physical therapist or an occupational therapist can give you exercises to do. You do them every time you change the diaper. They're very quick. I actually did them with my own daughter. And then if, it's, if you're still seeing the flatness, I would recommend going to see an orthotist to get a dock band helmet, which are specifically created for your child. And the good news in most of these kids that have a, a little bit of plagiocephaly, flat, flat head in the back, as they grow because the, the suture lines, the bone isn't fused, it should self-correct. Absolutely. And it's supervised tummy time. Make sure you're there and you're watching them to make sure that if they're having a hard time turning their head left or right, you can be there to assist. Thank or you, turn Lisa. Them over. Really appreciate your input.